When God was showing me certain things happening, I was even myself I was wondering. And some of those things. God, God has honored you this morning. And he has allowed you to come and witness some of those things. And as servants of God, as servants of God, we are going to be showing you and even teaching you how you can demonstrate the spirit and the power of God. Because miracles, signs and wonders are not to be performed by just pastors and prophets. And Jesus said, These signs shall follow those who believe. Every person here listening to me, from today you are going to be healing the sick like you are crazy. No more referring people to your prophet. You are going to heal the sick. Now, you know, the devil doesn't have a problem as long as the power of God remains just on one person. But when the power of God is now being disseminated and, and, and imparted on, on people, and everywhere you go, you begin to see miracles happening. That is what makes the devil mad. So let me, let me, let me explain to you what is going to be happening. And these things, they happen every time you see the Spirit of God moving. And some of those things, when you see them happening, you are going to be asking yourselves questions like, why, why would God do such a thing? Is it necessary? There I was praying when God was trying to push me into other dimensions. A man was brought to me. This man was almost gone. He was gone, he was finished. He was suffering from cancer. And there was, a, there was a big wound on his right leg here. And you could actually see the bone inside. The flesh was gone. Cancer was eating him up. And I prayed for him. And the Spirit of God said, it's going to take long. But there is a quicker formula. And this is what happened. I saw wine being delivered to me. And I saw bread being delivered to me. As you all know, wine represents the blood of Jesus. And bread represents the blood of Jesus. And a voice came and he said to me, mix the two. And after mixing the two, I applied on that, on that wood. And I filled the place. And I placed a bandage. 
Six seconds later, God said, Tell the people that have brought this, this person to you to remove the bandage now. And when they remove the bandage, that Holy Communion was turned into flesh. And I'm not just talking about flesh. The skin was there. I'm not just talking about the skin. There was hair on the skin. Instant miracles. You are going to be seeing that happening right in front of your eyes. God giving power to his church to create even flesh. And the Spirit of God said to me, flesh can be created. Now, I want you to follow. Most of these things, we are going to be witnessing them here and you go back home and you do the same. Understand. This is where we are right now. And When the Spirit of the Lord is operating, if it is the Spirit of God, it has to go beyond our mental abilities. The moment you think you now understand God, you have lost it. Because the power of God is never designed in a way that you understand it. It's designed to even confuse you more. Understand this one thing. You don't just find miracles in the Bible. You also find wonders and signs. There are miracles, signs, and wonders. And these things are different. Now, have you noticed that when God begins to do certain things, people will begin to question, why would God do such a thing? For what reason? I was looking into the word of God. I found out something very, very interesting. When Hezekiah was about to die, actually the prophet had come and announced the departure of Hezekiah. And Hezekiah prayed. And the word of God came back again to Isaiah. And Isaiah came back to Hezekiah. And Isaiah said to Hezekiah, God has promise to give you 15 more years. And is going to heal you. He is going to take away your disease. And Hezekiah didn't believe. Hezekiah was given a chance to choose what kind of a, a wonder or a sign or a miracle that he would prefer. And the prophet of God allowed Hezekiah to choose either the sun would go down 10 degrees or it would go backwards 10 degrees. 
zuva ringa furire mberere nema degree anoita 10 kana kudzokera kumashure nema degree anoita 10 and then hezekiah said hezekiah anoti it is an obvious thing zviripa chena for the sun to be going forward kuti zuva rinoenda mberi but i want your god asindiruda kuti mwari wako iwe to reverse the sun adzorere zuva mashure 10 degrees backwards nema degree gumi and in those days mumazuva iwayo they would use uh shadows to uh measure time vaishandisa mimvuri sezviringa zuva zvavo and 10 degrees backwards ma degree gumi uchidzokera kumashure the shadow started moving backwards mumvuri wakatanga kudzokera kumashure whether it was the sun or the earth whichever the case Asuna moshwa kuti rakanga riri zuva here kana kuti nyika whether it was the sun or the earth Asuna moshwa kuti izuva here kana kuti nyika but a shadow was coming back Asi mumvuri wakatanga kudzokera shure up to 10 degrees kusvika ma degree anokwana 10 and why would god do such a thing mwari ungaitire iko chinhu chakadaro he wasn't healing the sick he wasn't raising the dead he was just turning back the shadow I'm saying this because of a lot of uh, skeptics and a lot of critics because every time when they see signs and miracles happening they will ask questions like why would god do such a thing can you imagine the entire time program was changed so that god can cause one man to believe and even people from babylon started migrating coming to hezekiah because of the wonder that they saw it wasn't just about his healing that took place but there was a, a wonder a sign in the sky so god will do certain things that are just going to baffle you and that's it so that you believe call unto me and i will tell you things or and i will show you things that you have never heard of not minor things but great things and mighty things follow i want you to follow i am almost closing God is going to prove to some of you Mwari uchaburitsira vamwe venyu pachena that he is the creator of everything that we see Kuti ndiye musiki wazvo sezvatinoona Now zvino There are miracles in the Bible and signs in the Bible Kune minana mu Bible ne zviratidzo mu Bible that that God performed that had completely nothing to do with the sick look at this i will show you things that you never knew already we, already we know about healings god is telling you something here something that you didn't know that's what i'm about to do which means zvorevakuti as servants of god savaranda va jehova number one, we are going to be taking healing to another level chekutanga tichai tanga kutora kuporesa kuenda pane chimwe chero prosperity to another level kubudirira kuenda pane chimwe chero miracles to other levels vinana kuenda pane chimwe chero everything that god has given to his church in the past this time zvese zvakambopiwa we are going to push it further now there are miracles in the bible signs in the bible 
Kune minana mubaibiri, ziratizo mubaibiri. One day Jesus after ministering to thousands of people and gave them bread and fish. Why would God do such a thing? And yet there was a natural way of doing that. Actually, the disciples had advised Jesus to send away people. The situation here was not that critical. The situation here was not even out of control. There was another option. He should just have sent people away to find food for themselves. And yet Jesus said, make them sit down. And he multiplied the bread and the fish and that bread and that fish never ministered healing to the sick and you are asking why would God do such a thing because he is God after doing that Jesus then said to his disciples go into the ship and cross over go to the other side and they left him behind sending people away and then he went and started praying and Jesus then thought of following after the disciples. And they saw him coming on water. Walking on water. He is not healing the sick. He is not raising the dead. And you are wondering why would God do such a thing? There was, there was another alternative there. There was a boat and he allowed them to sail and he was left behind so that he can perform a sign and a wonder. And when they saw him coming they thought this was a ghost. Somebody from the dead. And Jesus said, don't be afraid, it is I. And Peter said, if it is you, allow me to do exactly what you are doing. Because the God that I know allows his people to do exactly what he is able to do. The God that I know he doesn't walk on water alone. He causes his children to enjoy what he is enjoying. If it is you, allow me also to experience that. And Jesus said to him, Come! And Peter jumped out of the boat started walking on water and doubt came and he started to sink and Jesus got hold of him raised him back again and he said to him O ye of little faith why did you doubt? Not why did you get out of the boat? Which means you are supposed to be walking on water. Although the boat is there, but it is meant for other people. Some of these people that we have in our days, they are mentally challenged, mentally disturbed. They don't see any reason why somebody would walk on water yet there is a boat. And what these people are doing, Jesus and his disciples, 
It's got nothing to do with the miracles that you know. What purpose is he trying to serve here? Why am I saying this? I'm saying this because of what God is about to do now. We are going to call upon the name of the Lord. And there are people here. Some of the things that are going to be happening. Don't even try to sue me. Listen. Listen. Because. If you don't want anything to happen to you, I have already made myself clear. You are allowed to leave this place before we begin to pray. Listen, I will say it again. Because as we are praying, Notable things are going to be taking place. And if you don't want anything to happen on you, please walk out of this place. Why? Because as we are going to be praying, there are people here you came here and you have got some teeth that are missing and those teeth are going to grow instantly now we are going to pray. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. Listen. You know, Munoziva, there is a space somewhere inside your mouth. In the next few minutes, that place is going to be covered. We are going to witness what we have never witnessed before. Even to make matters worse. After we pray. Some of you. You are going to ask your neighbor. To look into your mouth. Some teeth are going to turn into gold. My God. Why, and, 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 listen. And why would God do such a thing? So that somebody can believe. If there is a Hezekiah in the house. A Hezekiah in Zimbabwe. That doesn't believe in signs and miracles. God is about to perform a sign. So that Hezekiah can believe. Listen. This way. Listen. This way. 
Listen to this. God is going to prove to you that the Holy Spirit is capable of creating. Get this. When we talk of instant miracles, we are talking of losing weight instantly. Now, Look, look at this. Look at this. We, we, we put you on a scale. Now you have to measure And then we pray for you. And put you back again on the scale. Some are going to lose 5 kg, some 10 kg, some 15 kg, 20 kg. And why would God do such a thing? Because he is also a God of wonders. If your head is bold, and you want your hair to grow. There is that grace. I will show you things that you didn't know. And they will begin to talk. And when I saw that happening, the bread and the blood of Jesus turning into flesh, people started talking. Because they are people. So, Zino. we are going to be doing some of these things here today. We are, going, we are going to be causing legs to grow out. Today. Right in front of your eyes. Just to prove to you that Jesus, although he died, he rose again. He is alive. He is sound, he is perfect, and he is well. Now, Zino. Oh, I feel the power of God. When Paul, when Paul came, he said, when I came to you, I didn't come to you with the enticing words of men's wisdom. Because I didn't want your faith to rest on the wisdom of men. But for your faith to rest on the wisdom of God, I came in the demonstration in the demonstration, when you go back home, theologians, I want you to check this word, demonstration. It means exhibiting the spirit. Or, or causing the spirit to materialize. We talk about demonstrating the power of God. And all we think about is people falling. 
But look at this. What about demonstrating the spirit? What are we doing when we are exhibiting the spirit? We are causing the spirit of God to materialize in the physical. 